served on city council for a couple years, and that did uh, really bring to light our local issues. And so I have a good relationship with our mayor, our city council, and a lot of the staff down in Hopkinsville that uh, ties great into working with the KLC. We all have to work together like a symphony. Our cities are, are the microcosms of the whole state. That is where you're closest to the people. Sometimes government works very slowly. For instance, the bill that I passed, the HB 310, is a, an example of that. HB 310 uh, amends the current law to allow city clerks to electronically submit information on city employees and elected officials to the department for local government. Well, for years now, they have been having to hand, you know, type everything and then send it in by letter and mail and, and everything. And, and what the bill did was kind of turn it where they can submit electronically. So for that one instance, you can see how slow sometimes government works. Tax reform is an issue we started uh, in uh, 2018. We're not done. We, we share the largest border with Tennessee and uh, obviously they do not even have an income tax. So to try to shift from the taxing to work, which seems counterproductive, we're trying to get people to work, but then we take some of their income, uh, to maybe some kind of a consumption-based tax is kind of the route that we're trying to get to. We just cannot do it all at once. I would like to see us spread the, the tax burden by multiple people because of growth. If we have more people moving into our states, more industries, let's keep the tax structure as low as we can, but just have more people paying into the system. A lot of these cities are, are experiencing some uh, growth pains and uh, we are going to have to try to, to provide them the tools where they can grow and, uh, and realize everything that their potential and because uh, people are moving into the cities.